will go through with the question. Suppose the demand and supply curve of wheat are given by QD is equals to 200 minus P and quantity supplied is equals to 120 plus P. In this we need to find out the equilibrium price. We need to find out the equilibrium quantity. We need to find out the demand and supply when the price will be greater to equilibrium price and when the quantity of demand and supply when price will be lesser to um, equilibrium price. So what is it is already given in the question that QD is equals to 200 minus P. Okay. And quantity of supply is equals to 120 plus P. Now what we are going to do, we are going to write equally. 200 minus P is equals to 120 plus P. This is minus P plus P. So when this minus P goes here, it becomes plus. By that 200 minus 120 becomes 80 is equals to 2P. Now Pico will take it here and then 80 divided by 2. By that P we get is 40. So we have found out the equilibrium price. This is A1. Now what we are going to calculate is the equilibrium quantity. How we will calculate equilibrium quantity? The quantity demand is equals to 200 minus P. So P is 40 and quantity supplied is 120 plus P. So P is 40. By that 200 minus 40 is 160. 120 plus 40 is 160. Hence, we have found out the quantity demand and supply. Okay, equilibrium quantity demanded and supplied. Now, we need to calculate the third one. When price is greater to equilibrium price, then what happens? So, price is 40. Now, the price should be greater to the equilibrium price. We will take it 42 now. Okay, the same thing. 200 quantity demand is equals to 200 minus 42 is equals to and quantity supplied one sorry supplied 120 plus 42 what do we get 162 and 158 if by this we can understand when the price is greater to equilibrium price then supply will be more and demand will be less so quantity of demand will be lesser to quantity supplied law of demand is working when price is greater demand will be less when demand is greater price will be less mm -hmm. similarly now the, when the price is lesser to equilibrium price then what happens same formula to be applied now here we took 42 here we are going to take price as 38 should be lesser to equilibrium price no will take us 32 200 minus 38 and quantity supply 120 plus 38 by that we are getting 162 and 158 here you can understand when the price is less to the equilibrium price, demand is more and supply is less. Here we can understand that the quantity of demand is more when the price is lesser to the equilibrium price and quantity of supply is less. So by that we have found out this C1 and the D1 answer also. This is very very important and this will be surely asked for your 6 marks. Okay, mark my words, it is surely going to be asked. So, do go back to the video, learn it again and do prepare it because it is a pakka pakka question.